May we pray. We seek the mighty God in the most unlikely places as a child in a stable and in an empty tomb. May God hear these prayers we are about to make, which come from the unlikely corners of our lives. At this time, may we lift up our joys, our concerns, our thanksgivings as we come before God in prayer. Are there concerns? Beth? Okay, Jesse's taking a licensure exam in Tennessee. I think I got that word almost out right. Donna? Ann Taylor? Good, good. So keep Ann in your prayer. She's at Heritage Hall, I think. Okay. What else do we need to lift up, Christy? Um, I have a praise. I have a praise. Um, my, I've asked for prayer for my aunt and uncle uh, who are on their houseboat traveling to Florida. Um, this weekend they made it to the Gulf Coast, and so they will now be a house for several months instead of being a boat. So okay. they've made it safely, and they are anchored for a bit. So good. Thank you. We, Rick? Okay, Rick's brother is back in the hospital, and I see you continue to pray for him. What? Hey, Dennis? And Bill? I want to brag on, uh, brag on the Lord just a little bit or a whole lot um, in this church. Um, the week before Thanksgiving, there were several of us got together here on a Thursday evening. We, we put together... Uh, Thanksgiving boxes, and we handed them out uh, Friday. We delivered some Saturday and Sunday. We figured that we fed about 500 people with that ministry. And uh, that's at least two meals a piece for those people. And, and uh, most of those names came right, they come right along with the backpack ministry. We, uh, the school is really good to uh, work with us and uh, uh, really taking care of those uh, children and their families. And uh, another thing that we're planning, keep this on your mind, uh, I have a, a bunch of clothes in that trailer that's been donated from different churches, different people, and uh, let's try to plan on something I've been talking to uh, 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 Jeff, our district uh, superintendent, having it in the parking lot over there. Um, if we could get a bunch of uh, uh, hot food, we could feed out that trailer. If you have ever, uh, any, anything to donate, we can have a, uh, a day over there just giving away clothes and maybe toys, or anything that you've got on your mind. But that's, uh, let's try to do that on... Uh, uh, the Saturday right before Christmas, and uh, like I said, to be in the parking lot over there at the district <coughs> office, and we'll have the trailer set up. And um, if you have any other ideas, just let us know. And uh, like I said, God is good. I mean, He uh, just keeps keeps blessing. He, there's no end to it. All we have to do is believe in Him, and I know we do. Just want to thank you all. God bless. Uh, my family did not was not able to come in Thanksgiving weekend because they had their own uh, Thanksgivings to to celebrate. So, luckily, or not, uh, <laughs> they all came in this past weekend <laughs> or this weekend, and we had a ball. This morning, I wasn't really wanting sh to get out of bed because I was tired, but. <laughs> Uh, all of my kids were here, uh, about half of my grandchildren, and all of my great-grandchildren except one. So we had a, a, a gay old time. Uh, I thought Brad, most of them have gone home yet. Oh, yeah. 
Brad's out here, and he's got his two boys, two of his boys with him, or, and so we, uh, we, I think they're, okay. Anyway, it was a, it was a good weekend, and, and we, we had a wonderful time. I appreciate it. Are there others? Yes, um, if you can please uh, keep Zach Carter in your prayers. Um, that's the 12-year-old boy that we've been praying for all along. You know, he had his leg removed. They have found um, more cancer in his lungs, so he's going to have to go through chemotherapy again. He's 12, so he's a year younger than Daniel, and so he's going to have to have chemotherapy again. And uh, they're going to, if you could please just keep them in your prayers. Also, last week I forgot, can you please keep my brother in your prayers and... Uh, Healing for his hand, um, some of you know he got his hand stuck into a lawnmower belt. And so he, he actually severed one of his fingers and crushed two others. So if you can please keep him in your prayers. And then also my mom. So far she's doing well on the new medicine. So if you can please just keep her in your prayers, I'd appreciate it. Are there others? The Lord's putting this on my heart right now, and I'm going to share it with you. I came to this church five and a half years ago. And when I came, I don't know exactly when I first became aware of what was going on at the primary school in terms of, of kids being hungry. But when I learned, it sort of broke my heart. And I, I talked, remember a conversation I had with Skip. I don't know if he's going to remember it or not. But I said, my goal is not to have a hungry kid in this county if we can do anything about it. I've seen a lot of progress in that time. I've seen a, a lot of you all get together in those food drives that we had and those, those boxes we had that Donnie supplied for us from Alpha Natural, the thousands upon thousands of pieces of food that we gathered. And I see the churches of our community willing to come together to make a difference in the lives of these kids. That's good. That's why the church can make a difference. We can make a statement and say, that indeed we're not going to let hunger win. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, this is just, got me going this morning. So thank you for the support that you offer. And on behalf of those kids that get food, I'll say thank you. I may never see them, you may never see them, but somewhere, this weekend, there's a child that's eating food because churches and people in this community decided to make a difference. So thank you for the difference that you made. Let us pray together the prayer you find printed there in your bulletin. Give us ears to hear, O oh God and eyes to watch, know your presence in our midst during this holy season of joy as we anticipate the coming Jesus Christ. Amen. Now if you'll look in your bulletin, there's an insert that talks about prayer cloth blessing. Go ahead and get that insert out. Turn the mic off, David. Prayer team to come forward. And I'm going to invite anybody else that is interested in prayer and, and praying for folks to come forward and join us at the altar here for just a second. We're going to move on over this way. We need to get a microphone for you. Here, here we'll get this. We'll be using this microphone, David, whichever one that is off the altar. It's purple or violet, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm going to let you read what prayer cloths are about. Joyce over here, Palmer, our church treasurer, sort of has a little ministry on her own where she gets a card and a prayer cloth to people in the nursing homes. And we are going to bless these prayer cloths, and we are going to give them to Joyce, and she's going to take them and place them. Now, on the altar rail are some other prayer cloths. If you would like to pick one of those up during communion, and as you come back to the middle, have me anointed or whatever, so that you can take it and give it to somebody else, please feel free to do that, okay? That's what the ones there on the sides are going to be for. But these that we're praying over right now are the ones we're going to be sending to the nursing homes here. So we've got a little uh, prayer here, uh, and just read and listen and, and, and see what might happen. Let's just sort of gather around here, folks. Yeah, let's... let's. Lord, you use the common things of life to remind us of your power and grace. Water reminds us of our baptism and our rising and dying in your power and presence through our baptism. The fruit of the vine and field, the wine and the grain, remind us of your grace found in the elements of Holy Communion. Today we come before you with another simple item, a piece of cloth. In and of itself, it has no power. In and of itself, it is just a piece of material. Our prayers, our blessings, do not impart to it any power. Yet, we believe and ask those who receive these cloths will be reminded <clears throat> of your power and our prayers for them. May the persons that receive these cloths turn to you and seek the power that comes only from your holy presence. May they encounter your love and be reminded of our love and concern for them. We ask all this in Christ's holy name. Amen. Amen. 